Hey, coming up on Hands on Tech, I've got the smallest feature phone you can buy out there somewhere. Oh, here it is. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. My review. Next. This, this is Twit. Twit. Say hello. I say hello to my little friend. I'm keeping it in my pocket here because that's the whole point of this, frankly, is to have a phone that folds up and is small enough just to put in a purse or a pocket or you put it in your back pocket. It really is compact. This is, as Samsung just announced a couple of weeks ago, the Galaxy Z Flip 5, the wow. latest version. I had the Flip 4. Um, uh, I love the idea. To me, this so Samsung sounds a fold as Google does that is more like a tablet folded in half. This is so compact and little. It's it's really I like it because it's little. Samsung has done a few things to make this better than the previous. One is the hinge now is slightly improved, so it doesn't have that closed pin appearance with a bigger opening at the end of the bottom. Uh, and I think the hinge is, is, is really nice, has a nice feel to it. They've also really increased the size of this uh, front screen on here, and this can do all sorts Whoa, of things. Whoa, check that out. Yeah, so this is, uh, you have a variety of uh, choices of uh, screens you can have on here. And it also uh, supports a variety. I like this one because it's pretty. It supports a variety of other apps as you slide. So there's oh, my calendar. Nice. There's the weather. It's There's my phone calls, uh, alarms. I have a stopwatch and a timer. Uh, and also my step counter, you know, Samsung Health. You can add maps and you can add messages, but it doesn't use any, just old, any old app uh, that's on your uh, device. This is a fun thing I can do. Watch, I'm going to tap the camera. Actually, you have to slide it. it. Took me a while to figure that out. I kept tapping it, and nothing would happen. And now I can ah, see myself. <laughs> nice. So a great little selfie cam. Is it using the one of the cameras at the bottom? It's using one of these. Yeah, that one. Got it. Okay. Uh, there's also a camera, a selfie cam inside. So when you open it up, uh, you know, now I have the selfie cam. It's a inside. little sluggish. Uh, it actually, I don't think it is. I think that was the camera getting started. Let's try it well, again. Well, I mean, even when you were swiping between things, I thought it yeah, had this, a little Yeah, I delay think this it. is not going to be as fast as the okay, phone so itself. Okay, so the outside screen's a little This has slower. the same yeah. uh, processor as in the uh, Samsung uh, S23 Ultra. So it's it's the fastest uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon that, that's out there. I can't remember which version it is. Now, is that the lock screen that you're on inside? No, this is my, uh, I use a, uh, a very uh, stripped down that's cool. launcher. This one, I think one of the real advantages of Android over the iPhone is you can customize the launcher. This is, uh, this is called uh, Zero Launcher uh, or the Simple AF Launcher. <laughs> <laughs> and what I do like about it is you slide to the right and the, uh, and the camera opens up or you slide to the left and now, your phone opens up. I'm noticing. And then you can, there's a little bit, you're right. I don't think that that's, I think that that's, a transition i'm not sure got it the I light as it's shining you can see that oh you're talking about that middle. oh yeah you could definitely see so that. do you feel the same too? and you also feel it interesting okay. it is a little hump uh some f owners of earlier uh, flip phones have said that sometimes the screen dies at this point oh uh, i haven't had that experience that's good but that can be there is still some question about the durability of, of folding screens but you know what you're what you're basically saying is, and the way they do this is interesting. It has a flexible LCD screen, and on top of it, they put very thin flexible glass, mm -hmm. and then on top of that, they put a plastic screen protector. Now, I have to say, I do not like the feel. I'm going to let you touch this in a little bit. I do not like the plasticky feel of the screen protector. I don't use screen protectors. I like glass, mm -hmm. and so I think that's a that's a little bit of a disadvantage. But you see, I don't think it's slow. I think it's just yeah, that was much faster. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I think it's just stuff was. Uh, it's a you know, it's a. You, I don't think you would say, oh, this phone. I'm giving up some features. You're just giving up perhaps some durability, be and you you've got that little ridge in there. Uh, but you know, you have to angle it to see that. Otherwise, it, lo it looks fine. You don't and you feel it when your thumb's going over. But it's a smooth thing. I don't I don't find it to be uh, a, a disadvantage. I really do like, and I, I should have taken this launcher off, frankly, before. In fact, let me do that real quickly and go back to the Galaxy launcher because people are going, well, that looks weird, but that's the launcher. That's not, And that's one of the things I love about, uh, let's go to apps and I can choose my default app here. Change the launcher from uh, the zero launcher 
<laughs> the whole they call it the home app, the zero launcher to Samsung's One UI. There, that'll look a little bit more familiar to people who are used to Samsung's, and it actually looks a lot like an iPhone uh, as well. You've got a dock here and so forth. Uh, I I don't know. I love this pocket thing. Yeah, that's cool. I really think that's great. This comes in a variety of colors. Uh, when I was ordering, I couldn't get an order through on the nice green color I wanted for you. So all I got was kind of a gray, a neutral gray. But it's not bad. Yeah, no. And that's, that's by the way, that's what you're going to put on the table, right? Mm -hmm. um, it has wireless charging. In fact, it works in my car very nicely. I put it right there and it wirelessly charges. That is and nice. because this is, you know, I can always tap that. Uh, it does sleep after a while, but I can always tap that to get uh, into some of the features of it. Is the unlock touch? It's touch on the, you have touch or face. Okay. Or pin password, of course. And it is the, uh, the, uh, on off switch the screen on off switch that is the touch it's very fast i personally prefer it to on screen touch i think it's a really uh, nice feature you know i the cameras um are not quite up to the s23 ultra there isn't a periscope lens so you don't have that ultra zoom but you do have a wide and a, a and a standard they're both 12 megapixels i think it's i think it does a fine job unless you really need a super camera um, if what this the market for this is is to me sensible, which is somebody who wants to do what I was doing, which is to keep this phone in your breast pocket mm -hmm. or your back pocket or your purse, have it not occupy a lot of space. When it opens up, it's a six point three inch kind of standard phone size screen. It's a little the aspect ratio is a little weird. It's a little taller than than maybe you're used to. Uh, I'll compare it to my uh, iPhone, and you can get a, a better look at, uh, at, at how it compares. I I, sh I have a giant pencil I could use for <laughs> size comparisons, but that's probably... Pencil nice. for scale. Pencil for scale. Uh, so you can see it's a little wider. I mean, a little uh, narrower Yeah, just taller. a tiny bit narrower. But it, and it, so it that's, throws you off a little bit, but not not terribly. Uh, the screens are good. I mean, Samsung makes beautiful OLED screens. I think mm -hmm. the screens are fantastic. Cameras are good. It's using the same Sony sensors as all the world. Uh, it just lacks that extra wide zoom. And I, I think they've really improved it because of this full-size screen on the cover That's cool. is very useful. Yeah. And, you know, if I start a, a stopwatch, oh, let me unlock it. If I start a stopwatch, I can I can just, you know, set it up here like this, you know. Yeah. It's also smart. Um, for instance, the camera is smart about the fold. Watch what happens as I <gasps> tilt it. That's neat. So that way I can use this as, you know, almost like a little tripod. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, you know, they show that in the ads. And it's smart enough to say, oh, yeah, there's a fold, so I'm going to put the picture above the fold. be like a little makeup compact control. if it's turned the other way. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's just feel my... I just need to powder my powder nose, nose real quick. Yeah. Um, Lisa does that all the time. <laughs> so... It's pretty cool. That's that's a good a good point. I didn't think of that. Yeah, it's smart about that. And most of the apps that know about the phone, of course, are Samsung apps and so forth. But I think it, it, does, a, it does a very nice job. It's a nice... A nice piece of kit. Now, it's a thousand bucks. But Oof. if you have another Samsung phone, Samsung, at least initially on all of these phones, is really generous on the yeah, trade Yeah, I heard the trade ins were very yeah, generous. Yeah, I mean, basically, if I had traded in my fold, my old fold, I could have gotten this for, for free, basically. So it's not, uh, it's not an expensive phone if you have a trade in. If you don't, yeah, a thousand bucks. It's an iPhone price, but it is, it is a high end phone. So. Uh, I like it. Yeah, I think it's cool. good. As long as you understand what you're getting, I would suggest here. Let me give it to you so you can, you can tell the folks at home how that, that screen feels. Yeah, because that's as long as you. I would say go to the phone store and feel it. Okay, I see what you mean. It's, it's got a plasticky. little bit of a grab. Yeah, yeah it's as you're kind of moving around. I like glass. I like the slipperiness of glass. Not everybody does. A lot of people put screen protectors on. And there you cannot is... remove the screen protector. Or you're not supposed to. And if it bubbles up or or or. Uh, curls. Samsung does have a program to replace it. Okay, so you, you send need it to in keep for it replacement. On. Yeah, you, or bring it to a Samsung store. Yeah, you need to keep it on there. For sure. Yeah, the, it's just a, lo it's a little bit grippy. It. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, you get used to it. It didn't take long for me to get used to it. Uh, I, it's very I, light. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. That's important. Yeah, it's light. It's small. It's compact. It is really for people who who want a full size, feature rich uh, smartphone but don't want it to take up all that space. And I have to say, I almost expected the hinge to be a little bit harder to, but it's very smooth. No, it's easy. It's a good, yeah. they've gotten better and better on the hinges. Yeah. That's really where most of the technology improvement came. And it looks super premium too. Yeah. It's, yeah, this is very well built, yeah. the whole thing.
That's pretty nice. I took it to Oppenheimer, but nobody... You no know, one noticed? Noticed. I, oh, let me just look at my new <laughs> phone. <laughs> Listeners of this program get an ad-free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad-free versions of all of our shows, plus... Membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, The Giz Fizz, and more. Go to twit.tv slash club twit. And thanks for your support.